Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be telling you guys seven things you might have missed in the Age of Triumph update. If you guys could, please remember to take a little bit of your time and leave a like. Your support is greatly appreciated, everybody. Can't thank you all enough. Anyways, this first one I'm going to be showing you guys is a new Easter egg that was implemented into the game within the Age of Triumph update. They decided to bring back Peter Dinklage, aka Dinklebot. A lot of people had problems with his voice. In all honesty though, I really don't feel like his voice was that big of a deal. In some scenarios though, it was extremely monotone I will say, and it seemed like he just wasn't enjoying his dialogue that he had to say. But then again, some people think the new voice director for the Ghost, aka Nolan North, sounded too enthusiastic and people thought he was annoying. So. It looks like people just can't be happy with what they have. Okay, but anyways, here you guys go. For those of you that didn't get to hear Peter Dinklage as a ghost, well, get prepared. And I will say this is extremely random. Really extremely random. I was going at this for over two hours trying to get this voice dialogue, and it just wasn't happening. Just throwing it out there to you guys, just in case you guys go and try to hear this Easter egg for yourself, because, yeah... Let's just say it won't happen on your first try. If it does, well, hey, congratulations. Congratulations. This is really random to get to work. There's a wizard here. You have to kill him. That wizard came from the moon. <clears throat> from the moon? Came from the moon. So yeah, there you guys have it. That is the new Easter egg that I decided to add in. I believe it was a bit of a joke Bungie decided to do, and also a little bit of a throwback as well. I like that they did that, I like that. Anyways, for this next one, I just wanted to throw this out there to you guys. A new palindrome is being sold by the Crucible vendor. As you guys may know, the old pally had two range bricks on it, and personally I didn't like that, because it had rifle barrel and range finder. I mean, doubling up on the range really wasn't that necessary. And also, in case you guys didn't know, Hank Cannon's got a bit of a nerf to their range. So definitely having a range perk is a necessity on Hank Cannons now. Anyways, for this new palindrome that's being sold, it has True Sight, Sure Shot, and Quick Draw. Personally, I like Sure Shot out of the three scopes. And it also comes with Outlaw, Icarus, Rifled Barrel, High Caliber Rounds, and Reactive Reload. Personally, I like using Icarus and Rifled Barrel out of the two tree perks, just because Icarus, in my opinion, is great for getting the first shot on your opponents. And also, Rifle Barrel is a necessity once again, because the hand cannon nerf that recently happened reduced the range. So having a ranged perk definitely helps out. I will admit, I am playing on a broken controller during this gameplay that you are seeing, but I am using the palindrome that I just showed you guys that's being sold by the Crucible vendor. <laughs> my controller's joysticks are messed up. It automatically looks up constantly and it makes me go forward constantly as well. So yeah, I mean recently my other controller, that was my new one, RB button fell off, so yeah. I'm going through it recently. Look, my right bumper broke right after I defeated the new 390 Crota. had to make the memorial a little bit better for you, let you know that we care, or I care, I care. Home, no more home to me, whither must I wander, hunger my driver, I go where I must. And so it begins, sorry buddy.
now I'm using this other broken controller for now. I'm about to go buy a new one, but yeah, uh, I have to say it sucks. Anyways, let's get on to these other sneaky little changes they added. Iron Banner is now going to be supporting Mayhem Clash, so get prepared for that. More than likely, the next Iron Banner that's going to come around is going to involve Mayhem Clash, because that is part of this new update. For this third sneaky cheeky little add-in, Shiro 4 now accepts Ice and Fire tokens, and in exchange, he will increase your Vanguard and Faction reputation as you guys can see here. And also, by the way, I just want to throw this out there, just for the ones that don't know, I'm sure most of you do, you get Ice and Fire tokens out of completing the Wrath of the Machine raid. These were pretty much useless after you used it, you know, once or twice. So yeah, it's good to see that they added this. They also added something for the raids called Knuckles of AO. This is a new consumable that players can earn once per accounts by completing any section of the featured raid that week. After use, the Knuckles of Ao will unlock an additional drop for any boss in the featured raid. This week, the featured raid is of course Crota's Inn. I'm sure some of you have hopped on board and played it and also beat it. If you have beaten it or if you've gotten far in it, you probably noticed that you earned the Knuckles of Ao simply by completing the Abyss section of the raid. Basically getting through that long maze where the thralls chase after you and whatnot. Yeah right before the bridge part. And I'm sure for the next featured raid, it's gonna be in a random area as well. Who knows when we'll unlock the Knuckles of AO. If you do get your hands on these and you don't really want anything out of the Crota's End Raid, I suggest saving it for you know the other featured raids that will be coming up next just so you can get what you want out of those instead of you know getting something out of this and you didn't really want it. Okay, so that's four features that you might have missed. Hopefully something out of this, once again, is new to you guys. This next one I got for you guys is faction packages now drop up to 400. So if you haven't hit 400 or maybe you're looking for some better gear out of your factions, this is a great way for you to level up or to find you some new gear out of your factions. Anyways, this next one I got for you guys is another vendor change by Eris Morn this time. She now accepts Mortaring Shards and Charged Antiquated Ruins for Crota's Bane reputation. This is great because leveling up Crota's Bane can get you 400 artifacts. So once again, if you're looking to level up or you know to find better gear, this is one way to help get your light up. Lastly, I got for you guys a change that is coming to Zerg. Zerg will now sell exotic bundles. We haven't actually got to encounter Zerg quite yet because it hasn't reached Friday since the Age of Triumph update, but these exotic bundles will cost 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust. And they will also contain one exotic weapon and a matching weapon ornament. I think this is great because it saves people time in the long run. But anyways, that's about wrapping up this video, everyone. Thanks for watching and listening, and hopefully something out of this was new to you and you didn't realize that it came with the Age of Triumph. I'm out of here, though. Peace. Nice work, Guardians. Your efforts have been noted. Anyone got a spare light? Anyone got a spare light, please? Needing a spare light.